SCP Secret Files. And mind you, this is probably one of the best SCP games I've ever played. Uh-oh, the clouds are covering the city. What's going on here? I don't know what's happening. Oh, look at that. There's the logo. Okay, we're ready. I'm Carl. Carl Astana. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant. The pies there were rather to my liking. Startled when I saw a man across from me shouting, These pies are total shit. Looks like a pile of vomit. After seeing that, there were other empty tables in the restaurant. Excuse me, I, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Or, look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, all right? I think I might go with the polite one, so I'll just click on that one. Without answering my question, the man continued talking to himself. Well, look. So here you are, graduating soon. Clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have the job just for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. Well, if you're gonna say mysterious twice and wonderful twice, it sounds pretty interesting and intriguing. I'm curious. What do you want with me, old buddy man, whoever you are? Trust me. You won't be disappointed. He then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. S. C. P. I got a letter. What does it say? Honorable Carl Astana. Congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you are the one we have been searching for. You will assume the position of Assistant Archivist in the Archive Department Group 3. Director Chuck Orr will be your supervisor. Please go to the Security Office of Sector Sigma on 8-13-2012, 900 hours, to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. Personnel Department of Site 105, SCP Foundation. Secure, contain, protect. Now where are we headed? Oh, we're in an elevator. Hello. Oh, what's happening here? There are so many cells around Since us. The beginning of oh. civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from, or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind, and affect our daily lives. It's because of this Oh my goodness, what is that? An organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. While ordinary people live in the sunlight, we must fight anomalies what in the set. We must prevent oh them from being exposed to the public. So that people may live in a rational and ordinary world. We secure. We contain. We protect. The music in this game is so good. It's absolutely amazing. Guys, this is made by indie developers. Indie developers. This is like triple A grade game. It's crazy. We're here, we're on our floor. Oh, what a nice looking place. Let's see here, what do we got here? Warning and safety. Yada yada yada. Ah, wait a second. Please swipe card. Card, card. Oh, here we are. Okay, now we can get through. What do we got? I gotta enter a room number 914. What is that? 907. 9, 10, 11, I think it's around the corner here. Yep. Yes, it is. Okay. Interact. Wazd. Dink. Alright. And, whoa. Okay. This, uh, this is exactly how I imagine an archive to look. So here we are. Alright, what do we got here? E. Swipe card. 
All right, we're in. We're in, boys, ladies and gents. People. Let's talk with some friends. See what they're up to, huh? How'd the mission go, Ghent? SCP-1299? What happened there? Oh, this chat is going fast. I don't think I can- right? I don't think I can read all of this. Carl- Oh, I see my name. Carl, how about introducing yourself first? Okay, I'll introduce myself. Hiya, friends. Good morning. My name is Carl Astana, but you can call me Carl. I graduated from MIT with a double major in biology and philosophy. Okay. Stuart. Stuart is just happy to be here. Look at him. Have you all conveniently forgotten about Jonathan? Seems like this Jonathan fella left a bad impression on you, Ghent. You guys watched Rick and Morty last night? Stuart. Stuart's in his own world. Stuart is Stuarting. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. How dangerous could dealing with paper possibly be, Ghent? Please, uh, clarify. Lost his left hand because he breached protocol with SCP-247. Archive must be handed in by the end of the day. Alright then, what is my job? Our review, organize, catalog, modify all existing containment archives. You'll need to attend a new employee onboarding training first, okay? Time for onboarding time, fellas. I, I just read rule one and it says contact with SCP-999 during working hours is strictly prohibited. That's funny because SCP-999 is so cute. Hey, Director R. I got something to tell you. I'm honored to be given the chance to work here at the Archives Department. Young man, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. The new employee onboard trade will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. Remember, Carl, stay sane and always in awe. Oh, system notice. Training, we are training. What is this first class? Raymond Ham. Training is about to begin. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're straight Jason into it. Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Oh, okay. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503. 30 days. That's right, because doesn't the SCP Foundation use inmates to do, like, the testing of the SCPs? Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh, I see a truck, a bed, a burger, and a, a computer. I'm pressing the truck. Oh, wow. Well, looky looky here. We've- look at this art style. It's like this art style. It kind of looks like it's cell shaded almost Kind of Borderlands-esque. I kind of like it. I really just said Borderlands-esque uh Oh uh, We have a, a radar and we're wearing a hazmat suit So I'm not sure what we're doing here but I think we'll find out soon enough. Oh. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He Thanks. must find them out for himself. Thanks for that. Must find things out for himself, just like my entire life. We've got to collect at least 100 kgs of waste. Garbage collection? We're just doing garbage collection in the desert? Okay, we're doing some garbage collection in the desert. There's one. Uh oh, it's going crazy. Go, go, go. Collect. Damaged petrol tank. Hard to decompose even after a hundred years. Well, I mean, that's most plastic. Remember, do not use single-use plastic. It takes way too long to break down. Aha! Got you. We've got a tire. An old, worn out, rusty tire. Filled with sand. Next piece of waste. What do we have here? Protected hazardous liquid from leaking. Okay, we are over encumbered. How do I know that word? Think Skyrim. 
thank Skyrim for not letting me fast travel by being over encumbered. I am guessing we have to go back to whatever that tower is over here. Kind of looks like a nuclear reactor. Okay, there we go. All right, all in the day's work for waste removal. Pull down lever, incinerate. Okay. All done. And that's how we do it. Day one, done. This was D-503's first day of work. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Oh, really? Okay. Psychological. I think that's a computer. Please take the level 2 mental test to assess your current mental state. I think I'm doing okay. I think my mental state is alright. Start test. Okay. We've got ourselves a puzzly. Um, down here. No, we don't have any long pieces. There. Think there. Okay. Easy. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. I think. There. No. Red. Green. Pink. There we go. All dunzy dunzo. Hey! Today's work is complete. The system will settle the contract. I'm. Ah, now it's 29. We've got 29 days. <gasps> Burger. It's burger time. Burger! Okay. Present burger. Why are we still here? Not how I imagined I would receive my burger, but okay. Thank you. On the floor? Good enough. I'm in a containment chamber. Anything that can get me by, I'm good with. It's time to catch some Z's. Alright. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom? for a death row inmate. I am wondering. Please enlighten me. Oh! Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. This art style is pretty Welcome cool. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. 7457? The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. I'm sorry, D503 what? is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. The desert is the SCP. Prior to the foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. Oh no. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Please do. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've this reminds me of Metal anomalies, Gear. I'm so sorry. But only in terms of human anomalies. But I love it. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. Hmm. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay. Next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. 
In the video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Yeah, why? Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now is that everything you see is part of SCP-7457. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult to understand at first. Just know that it, or they, have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. Alright, let's finish, uh, finish watching the video. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. Mm hmm. Oh, we fast forwarded in time. We're on the 23rd day now. Okay, time to go back on the truck. It's truck time. Time to collect some good old garbage. Let's have a look at what happened. Welcome to D503's Trash Collecting Services. If you need your trash collected and you need it thrown, please call 1-888-D503. Do not call that number. That is not a real number. Oh no, this is not what I expected to happen. This is okay. Okay. Uh... Gravity! Oh wait, we're here. Where are you? Hello? Why is it doing that? Why did it just do that? A spindle of thick black cable, worn too tightly. Alright. Burning time. D503 had completed his task. What? However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. You heard that groan too, right? I I can't be the only one that heard that groan too, right? In the incinerator? This is not good. Level two mental test. Let's begin. Please select three pictures of the triangle. This one, this one, and this one. Confirm. Select three pictures that calculation results equal to five. Dink. Dink and... Da da da, 15, whatever, three, dink. Okay. Work is complete. 22. Okay. I guess we're sleeping. Let's go. That night, D-503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. Hmm? Analysis tells us that D-503 is dreaming. Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. Dreaming? Is this the dream? Looks like it's very dark out and there's an ocean. Doesn't really relate much to the to the we to the weather or the desert. I'm not really sure what this means. I may have to look at the lore for this specific SCP. That looks like a telephone booth up there. Like those London telephone boots. Alright. Conference time. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457's impact on D-503. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Department of Site-21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, 
Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. I'm sorry, what? If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. Every eight minutes? It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, oh my it still goodness. has the potential what? to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. That's just strange. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Oh, we've already passed 15 days. Due to days. the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the worst. Even for a death row inmate. Uh -huh. That's the radar. That... That I have as well. Oh, it's going crazy. Hold on. D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. Mm -hmm. However, D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. Nope. Nothing's in here. Nothing's in D-503's head. Head empty. Here we go. Spindle. That same spindle. Okay. Hello there. Tingly tangly thing. I'm gonna collect you and you're gonna be incinerated. Here we are. Alright. All good. All good. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D-503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. You heard that? What the heck is happening? But then he encountered an incident. Which incident? What is going on? What's happening? Sandstorm? A sandstorm. Okay. D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh boy, this is not good. This is not looking good. Just follow the red light. See the red light? Just go there. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be alright. Okay, we made it. Good. D503 managed to find a site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. A site he was not familiar with. Right, okay, yeah. This totally looks safe. There are cables everywhere on the walls. Hi there, how are you? What's going on? What's up? You're just sitting there. Staring menacingly at me, perhaps? I don't know. How are you doing? Oh, whoa, what's happening here? Huh? A cliff? Why am I dreaming of a cliff? Now it says a lie. Right, um... Hey there. How you doing? How you been? How have you been? You look a little... A little entangled there, pal. You might wanna... You might wanna tell me what's up? With you? How are you feeling? Oh, you... You don't look... You don't look very well. Are those radars? Wait a minute. Okay, I'll just check your brain. Okay. Um. Those are cables 
coming out of you. All right. That telephone booth is still on the cliff. I don't understand why or what the meaning of it is. I'll, I'll find out later, I guess. Oh. Oh. Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? No. <gasps> oh. Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Yeah, man, I'm kind of going crazy right now. I don't know what's happening. I just went through a sandstorm. See this? See this blurry vision? This is all the sand that's been in my eyes. Okay. Major fluctuations can now be observed in D-503's physiological data. What? What is happening? Where am I going? Where am I? The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Oh, what am I doing? I just broke the screen. How did that help exactly? D Why did I do that? Was able to break away from the foundation I am control. breaking out. He has seen the test go, go, go. of other level D personnel were analyzed at SCP-7457. Okay. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 oh. have ever been able to leave this desert. Everything is being taken over with the sandstorm. up in a city. Why is there a city in the middle of the desert? Heard the call. A call. Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. I mean, if you look at the scale of the universe? Out there, in the unknown world. We are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. What he said. In the scale of this universe, we are literally nothing. We are a speck. What is that? That's the same phone booth. Oh boy. This isn't looking good. Ha. Uh... Uh, okay. Oh goodness, it's like a tree, but those aren't roots, those are cables. Strangled. Is where D five oh three's instincts led him. I am the cable now. I became the trash that appears every eight minutes. That's me. And that is, uh, That is where the screams come from. Okay, I'm sensing some irony here. Between pollution and human civilization. 48 
days later, experiment participant D-722 found the radar that it belonged to D-503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. Yep. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Yep. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. That's... Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, uh. how accomplished you are. Oh. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. Ooh, okay. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Way to shove it Remember there. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. Ay -ay -ay. God won't protect you here. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Hit it right where it hurts, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, I had my comments. This course was arranged appropriately. Yep, it was arranged pretty appropriately. The lecturer was qualified. Uh, he worked here probably for many years, so I'm, I'm pretty sure he's qualified. Connection was smooth. Yeah, I, I sure hope it was smooth. The notice of the meeting was punctual. Seemed like it was done on time. Uh, do other, other supplements? I don't really feel anything. I just feel immense dread. And, uh, and, uh, and, and dread. Thank you for your feedback. We wish you success in your work. I wish myself success in my work. I really do hope so. Hi, friends. Hiya, Carl. How'd it feel? To be honest, it, uh, anyone got an aspirin? I, I could use a few. Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with him, Stuart. In any case, you're welcome to join us, Carl. The past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this, because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfalls. Cliffs or waterfalls? That telephone booth featured a cliff, but it was all so real I can even taste it in my mouth now. The foul taste of river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. Holy moly. That was a... That was an intense SCP. A desert? A full desert? SCP? Anyways, that is it for SCP-7457. We've got more SCPs coming up, so this isn't the only one. We've got a few more SCPs to go through in this game, and I will be going over them. But I hope to see you in the next video. Later!